Hi, welcome again to Digital SLR User TV. My name is Adam Scorey, I'm Technical Editor on Digital SLR User. And we are sitting here today with uh, Nikon's latest little camera. Um, not so much entry level, one above that, sort of mid-range, uh, just below really mid-range. Um, this is the uh, Nikon D40 and this is the Nikon D60. D60 will shortly be replacing the D40 um, and again, much like the K10D and the K20D from Pentax, there's very little visually to distinguish these two cameras uh, from each other. However, there are some significant changes actually inside the cameras. Um, probably the biggest one on, on the D60 here is the fact that it now has integrated sensor cleaning itself. Um, obviously a, a major uh, change and uh, a major addition to the actual range to stop dust getting on the sensor itself. Um, what else has it got? In camera editing, uh, bits and pieces like that, we've got, it's the same size chip, it's a 10 megapixel chip. Um, this uh, particular camera we've got uh, coupled with the new 18 to 55 DX lens, which is actually a VR lens, which incorporates their vibration reduction technology. Now, in theory, that will allow you to, in lower lighting conditions, or certainly with longer lenses, it enables you just to shoot that little bit longer. Um, some of the brochures quote up to four stops. I must admit, I think it's more likely to be around two stops. Um, but, yeah, more about the D60. Um, I, I like uh, Nikon cameras. I think, firstly, they're very easy to use. They're very sort of intuitive cameras to uh, to use. The menu system is ever so clear, uh, tabulated format, um, very clear to read, simple. Um, the options are all sort of logical. I mean, as most are, to be honest. Um, Canons do, do tend to be perhaps a little bit more um, convoluted. Um, but this is a nice little camera. I recently tested this. Um, for digital SLR user in, in the latest issue and I went out, it was on a very dull day around the Norfolk Broads um, and one thing that I did find coming very handy was the D-Range Optimizer or the D-Range Lighting uh, um, uh, system that it's got and essentially it's not high dynamic range but it increases the dynamic range of the sensor so if you've got a dull day and you normally have a very bright sky that's burnt out and looks like a big pile of wet grey towels, um, what this will in fact do is just add in about an extra stop into that sky in effect, um, just to give you a little bit more contrast and range and add a bit more detail into the brighter situation. So theoretically if you get your exposures right, that will actually just aid a little. Um, what else has it got? All the same uh, menu system, so I mean this is definitely...